karya, the meaning itself, uh, it means uh, karma or action. And, and for me, that's, that's really very close to my heart because for us, actions speak louder than words. And what we're trying to do here is make it a win-win situation for my tenants, for my employees. And there's over 300 employees that Karya uh, employs now. And the investors who was obviously invested with us. Why did you start Karya? You know, Karya, the, the roots and the beginnings of Karya goes way back when I was growing up as a young teenager in this country. I came from very humble beginnings in India and I moved here as a young teenager. I used to live in a lot of the older apartment complexes where I saw uh, basic needs were not met for, from, the, from the management to the tenants. Basic work orders were, were not being done. Uh, it lacked a lot of amenities and the services mm -hmm. that a new apartment would have. And at that time I thought, you know, one day maybe I'll, I'll start a company which, uh, which buys uh, you know, older apartment complexes, renovates them, not just physically, but operationally as well, so that we can cater to the tenants who are living there with better services, mm -hmm. uh, better amenities, mm -hmm. better quality, and essentially a nice, clean, safe place to live. I heard that uh, you're trying to help the refugees a lot. Can you tell me why do you intend to do that? Yes. You know, for me, everyone is equal. Mm -hmm. uh, refugees, immigrants, you know, America is a country of immigrants. Right, we all came as an immigrant. Refugees are essentially immigrants. Uh, refugees have a, a special place for me in my heart because these people are leaving their countries, they're leaving their homes, they're leaving their families. Uh, so my goal is to to provide them a very with a very nice, clean, safe place to live at a very affordable cost. Because essentially, I'm trying to provide them with a home mm -hmm. rather than a house or an apartment, mm -hmm. so they can at least go out and you know they can raise their kids worry free and go out and find jobs and contribute to this economy. Uh, so refugees are very important. Uh, you know, they're very hardworking people mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that they, they have some place they can call home. As in this industry, you're the youngest entrepreneur. How do you feel about that? You know, age is just a number for me. Okay. Uh, it's about a person's passion, mm -hmm. enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. uh, if you truly believe what you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, it, and it reflects in your work, okay. right? So I, I'm fortunate enough that I found my passion much earlier in life that a lot of people do, and maybe a lot of people do find their passions. But you know, stars have to align. Yes. You you know you luck plays a big factor in it. So mm -hmm. I'm lucky enough that I'm able to do this, and God willing, they will continue doing this for a long time. Yes, absolutely. What is your vision, uh, Swapna? Can you yes. please tell us about sure. that? Sure. My vision for Karia is to become the best property management company in the country. Uh, I want Karia to be associated. When people look at a property that's managed by Karia, I want them to know and think that it's this property is going to have the best services, best amenities, a nice, clean, safe, renovated apartments to live in. Uh, you know, you have Camdens and Gables, a lot of Class A brand names where people can associate that quality with it. Mm -hmm. There's none that exists in older apartment vintage complexes. My goal is to become that brand so that people can associate Karia with the best, being a best property management company, best customer service, and, and the ones who really care for their tenants.